Hello everyone, uh, today we will be discussing on the Pierce square method of balancing relation as part of the topics of our uh, subject, answer 3, swing production and uh, management. Alright. Okay. So, uh, this is our PowerPoint uh, presentation, so let us try to uh, this one. So we have here the Pearson Square Balancing uh, Ration, of course, yours truly, Dr. Rudy M. Kamai. Okay, so uh, this is a critical thinking exercise. Now, uh, on this topic, we try to look at what is uh, Pearson Square and what is its, what is, uh, its applications and what is its importance in animal productions either on the uh, large scale commercial scale or in the backyard scale so uh, maybe some of you already have uh, hands-on experience on how to balance feeds using rations and uh, uh, but because this course was designed to uh, second year college students here in the university so maybe uh, there are some of you do not have uh, had an experience about the Pearson Square. So what is Pearson Square, by the way? Okay, it is a uh, useful tool for uh, simplifying and balancing the ration. So uh, meaning to say, this is one of the tools that will be used to uh, compound the feed or uh, balance the feed and uh, so simplifying no you know that so there is a simplifying and uh, use for balancing because uh, if we have new tools to be used in mixing our feeds so it is very difficult for us to identify the compositions of the resulting feeds that we will be uh, combining or will be mixing and balance balancing operations meaning to say uh, just like humans so there is a balance of nutrients in our diet in our ration so just like animals we have to balance the compositions of the nutrients of the feeds the animals will be eating so there must be a balance in terms of uh, protein in terms of fats in terms of uh, any nutrients for that matter but for this particular uh, topics we'll be using about the crude protein as one of the nutrients in animal uh, production all right so use in balancing the rations so we have to use Pearson square to balance the rations so particularly the nutrients presents on the rations okay so uh Another, it shows the proportions no? or the percentages of two feeds to be mixed together to give the percentages of the needed nutrient. So I'd like to emphasize here proportions or percentages. So there will be two feeds and uh, needed nutrients meaning to say when we use the Pearson square in simplifying and balancing the regions so we have to use two sources of feeds so in Pearson square so only two sources of feeds that can be used uh, whenever we use more than two sources of ingredients in compounding feeds so Pearson square now is not applicable so timanan so timanan na to ang Pearson square applicable lang kung magamit ta og duha ka feeds nga atong isagol para makuha na to ang target target nga nutrient para sa ato ang mga hayop kung magamit ta og tulo ka nutrients ano no tulo ka ingredients nga atong sagulon di na pwede ang Pearson square and we have to use other tools in uh, combining and mixing feeds. And there are lots of uh, tools now in compounding feeds of more than two uh, ingredients. Uh, particularly nowadays, 
so we are more on uh, information technology there are many uh, applications no apps whether on the windows or whether on the android or apple so there are many no and maybe we have to discuss that that with uh, some other uh, time some other uh, sessions okay but for today so let us now uh, understand that this Pearson square will be used in balancing regions uh, particularly to balance uh, regions with two uh, ingredients so more than three cannot be applicable using the Pearson square then uh, we have to balance atong sagulon ng duha ka feeds aron na asla matag proportion ng matag feeds aron na target nato ang nutrient na kinahanglan kinahanglan sa hayop so katulad sa tao no so kung tumarta og tambal naay mga dosages so kailangan atong targeton ang dosages nga dili ma overdose dili pod ma underdose so the same is true with animals when we provide nutrients with the animal to the animals we have to make sure we have to say to it that the needed nutrients should be applied in balance proportion All right okay so klaro yan ha so let us proceed now okay so uh, there are some example in here on how to use the Pearson square now uh, the Pearson square from the word itself uh, it uh, tells us that there must be a square in doing a Pearson square balancing operation okay so take note of the square so Pearson kasi siya yung naka discover how to use the Pearson square in compounding a feed but uh, let me add again uh, Pearson square is not only applicable to uh, formulation of feeds uh, it is also applicable to mixing of wine so whatever uh, whatever uh, feeds or anything that we need that we need to combine which has uh, concentration which has uh, percentages Pearson square can be applied but maybe in other sessions uh, I will uh, I will show you and how to use Pearson square in other uh, areas of learning all right so for today there's a there's an example in here so uh, we have to uh, we have to mix a feed so uh, animals then uh, how to mix that feeds using the Pearson square okay so 200 kilogram of feed is needed to feed the 100 heads of growing hog so uh, in this particular uh, statement we have to uh, mix a feed with a total uh, amounts of 2000 kilogram so I mean to say we have to mix a feed with a certain ingredients of course two ingredients because we'll be using a uh, Pearson square and uh, that 200 kilogram feed will be feed to 100 heads of hugs no all right so there are uh, another uh, statement in here so a feeding standard table shows that 18 crude percent no 18 percent crude protein is needed so meaning to say we have to produce a batch of uh, feeds that has uh, 18 percent crude protein so itong 18 percent crude protein this is the required nutrient of our resulting feeds that we will be going to mix so ganito so mag produce tag 200 kilos nga feeds nga naa siya 18% crude protein and this 18% crude protein this is the required nutrients for hug okay ito yung i-satisfy natin all right so ano ba ang mga ingredients na ating gagamitin so according to this uh, particular example we have to use the corn and soybean meal no? so corn is the source of energy and soybean is the source of protein no? this is the source of protein of course uh, yeah. so so just never mind the uh, the uh, 
this feeling now mahirap but anyway this is uh, protein no so even so even meal okay but of course uh, different uh, stages of productions of animals particularly swine or any animals for that matter so at different stages of their uh, growth there must be a different uh, requirements for nutrients particularly protein but for this example these uh, 100 heads of hogs so uh, required 18% crude protein okay so now to summarize the uh, situation we have to produce 200 kilograms of feeds that must have 18 percent uh, crude protein uh, by which the ingredients that we will be uh, using is the corn and soybean meal okay so let's proceed okay so uh, a feed composition table shows now uh, for the ingredients that we will be using so it is important uh, for us to uh, know what is the uh, nutrient uh, nutrient uh, level what is the percent nutrients of that ingredients that we will be using so for this particular example we just given from uh, table so maybe there is a table that, but we have just extracted this data so from the table it was known that corn has 8.9% 8, 8 crude protein and the soybean meal has 44% uh, crude protein. So let me add now another point for Pearson Square. Uh, Pearson Square, one of the assumptions of the Pearson Squares, yes, uh, we have mentioned that earlier that it only needs two ingredients. But let me add that the ingredients that we will be using, okay, one of that ingredient, uh, one of that ingredients must have a crude protein higher than the needed requirement. So in our example of this uh, for this problem, so ang atong ang atong gikilangan ng CP is 18%. Now this is 18% ang kilangan natin. 18%. So take note that soybean meal ang iyahang uh, crude protein is higher than 18%. And while well, on the corn, try to look at this, ang iyahang uh, crude protein is less than 18%. So, yung naana ang uh, timanan. Yung kailangan, ang atong mga ingredients ng atong gamiton, dapat isa sa ilaha, taas ang iyahang nutrient kumpara sa target nutrient. Yang isa pod, dapat baba sa target new trend. Kaya nga niya mangod siya. Kung ang duha sa ilaha, puros taas sa 18%, so therefore, we cannot formulate an 18% because both of the ingredients is uh, higher than 18%. On the other hand, if uh, both of the ingredients must have uh, protein requirements less than 18%, then uh, both of the ingredients cannot produce an 18% resulting mixture because both of them has less than 18%. So, balik ko na ko, dapat ang isa sa ingredients taas sa required, yung isa po, baba sa required. Or kaya, ang atong required nutrients, naa sa tunga-tunga sa nutrient content sa doha ka feeds, uh, feed ingredients na atong gamitan. Klaro? So, klaro. So, let us proceed. All right, all right. So uh, the question now is, uh, how much corn and soybean meal uh, need to be mixed together for two thousand kilograms of uh, compounded or mixed feeds? So okay, two thousand nanto. So pila sa sa two thousand pila ana ang soybean meal, pila ana ang corn. Okay, proportion. So what is the proportion of the corn? in terms of kilogram or in terms of percent. So, pila day ang corn, pila day ang suibin ang 200 kilogram. So, ito ang question. No? Let us answer that. Okay. So, now, uh, to answer that question, so we have to uh, follow the procedure or step and how to compound the feeds using the Pearson square. So, number one, draw uh, one to two in square. So, we have to draw a square. It doesn't matter as to what is the size of the 
the leg or the side of the square doesn't matter as long as it is square just do it okay again draw a uh, one to two inch square then place diagonal lines across the square so mag drawing ta o square so this is the square then place diagonal line we have to make a diagonal line ingan naman diagonal line no um cut sa tunga so we have to place diagonal diagonal line so this is the diagonal line Okay, and so, so the other side. So take note the arrows. Merong arrows dyan. Meron dito. Okay, yeah, that's step number one. Okay, proceed to step number two. So write the percentage of the crude protein needed by the animal in the center of the square where the diagonal lines uh, crosses. Okay, so in our particular example, di ba, magbuhat tao feeds nga na ay 8% na resulting uh, crude protein so we have to draw uh, we have to write 18 percent in here which is the target nutrient for our resulting feed okay so look at that so we have to put 18 in that uh, in the center of the square next okay write the feeds to the uh, write the feed to be used at its corner so, katong atong gamitin nga feed kay corn man to, no? So, ito ibutang doon sa corner, which is 8.9 ang, ang crude protein ng corn. And ang soybean meal, nga nasa 44.4. So, atong ibutang siya sa mga kanto, no? Dredepita sa aning aside, no? Kiting aside na ito ibutang. Ayan, aside. Look at that. And place the percent of the crude protein in the feeds after the name of the feed. And like that corn, pilaka ang CP. Uh, so, even meal, pila ang yung cord protein. Alright. So, nasulat na. So, next move. Okay. Subtract the smaller of the numbers from the larger numbers. So, ibig sabihin, i-minus na ito. Kaning nasa ito nga, i-minus na ito itong mga cord protein na nadiskilid. Okay. Subtract the smaller of the numbers from the larger numbers. This involves the crude protein needed by the animals and that provided by the feed. So, ito ang needed ng animals at itong i-minus i -minus atong mga crude protein na nasa mga nasa feeds nga atong gamiton. Then, write the difference in the opposite corners. So, ang answer nila, ito rin ibutang din sa pika side. No? Atong, ang answer sa pag-minus, excuse me, <coughs> atong ibutang din nga side. Example, 18 minus ani ang answer dire, no? Kana, minus ana ang answer dire sa pikas. Ngana. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Like that, for example, no? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, 18 minus 8.9 equals 9.1 then uh, 44 minus 18 equals 24.6 no? so na siya ok nasunod, nasunod. so yung minus siya pa diagonal ha? ok then ang answer ibutan natin ito mo eh ang answer po natin is because so nakuha Okay, so let's proceed. Step number five. The numbers at uh, the two right corners are parts of the two feed ingredients that are needed. Okay, so go back in here. So itong mga number na ito, ito na ngayon na yung mga parts ng mga nutrients, ano no, parts ng mga ingredients that will be needed to mix the uh, resulting feeds. no. So for example, ito corn, ito dito eh. So, we need uh, 26.4 parts of corn as well as uh, 9.0 parts ng uh, soybean meal. Alam natin na ang total parts later on is 2,000 kg. No? But in terms of proportion or parts, so let us uh, settle for this muna. Okay? So, kailangan natin ng 9.1 soybean meal and 2.6 uh, 2.6 26.4 parts ng corn. Okay. Yun. So, numbers at the two right corners are part of the two feed ingredients that are needed. So, sa atong corn, kailangan natin ng 26. 
sa ato ang swibin kailangan nito na ang 9.1 na ito na itutal so ang total part nila is 35.5 total parts no? okay then uh, next for that we have to you determine the percentage of the corn compared to the total so for example this is the part of corn divided by the total so the, the resulting part uh, the resulting answer for this will be the percent of corn in the mixture and the other side itong 9.1 divided by the total the resulting answer for this will be the percent proportion of the soybean meal of the resulting total which is the total nga feeds nga itong i-produce is 2,000 kg so itong yung itong example ok, let's proceed stick number 6 the percentage of its feed needed in the region can be found by dividing the parts of the total parts then multiply by 100 for example so we have 26.4 parts of corn and the total parts is 35.5 so therefore we have uh, 74.4 percent of corn or in decimal that is 0.744 okay so out of 2000 kilogram pala na atong i-produce only 74.4 percent ato is the corn okay now let, let's try to look at the soybean meal so sa soybean meal 9.1 in parts ang total parts ng lagina is 35.5 so therefore we only have a uh, 25.6 percent soybean meal of the total mixtures ng 2000 kilograms na atong i-mix so try to take note of this no, kung i-mix ang itutal ng duha, kung i-mix ang itutal, okay, eh. so ang resulting amount is 100%. So, so try to note that also, no, to check our uh, our computations. Kung di sila matutal o 100, maybe we have some errors somewhere else, no? But kung matutal siya o 100, so we are sure na correct ang atong computation. So let us proceed now. Okay. All right. So let's proceed. All right. Okay. So uh, ito na nga no, ang, ang corn is 74. Then ang soybean meal is 26% the base in our computation. But uh, ang ato ang uh, total feeds nga i produce is 2000 kg no. So step 7. The amount of its feed ingredients for the large bats ang, ang bats nga atong i produce is 2,000 kg. Again, the amount of its feed ingredients for a large batch of feed is determined by multiplying the percentage. So, pinaka percent ng corn, pinaka percentage, pinaka percent ng uh, swibin meal, it times them na to sa tong bats, no? Again, the amount of its feed ingredients for a large batch of feed is determined by multiplying the percentage of its by the total amount of feeds desired. So, kaya niya, itong example, no? 74.4% ato is ang corn. So, in decimal, that is 0.744. So, meaning to say, uh, ang katong 2,000 nga batch na to, i-times na to o 0.744, ang resulta na, mauna ang amount of corn. Ano niya, katong isa, katong 26.4. Ah, sabi ito? Uh, let us know. Okay, our bats, we have, we need the 2,000 kg. So, for corn, kay 74.4% man in decimal, that is 0.744. So, times nyo mo sa 2,000, so makilangan ta o 1,488 kg of corn. Okay? Then, niyang ato ang soybean meal, kay 25.6% man to, in decimal sa soybean meal, 0.2 or that is 25.6 percent times 2,000 so kailangan lang ta o 512 kilogram of soybean meal so kung atong itutal ni silang duha dapat mo equal siya sa 2,000 kaya mo man atong i-mix na feeds kung dili sila mo total o 2,000 there must be some error somewhere else in our computation but kung mo total siya 
then uh, uh, most likely we are doing right in our computation okay so we have the 2000 kilogram of feeds at 18 percent crude protein so when we mix now our 1488 kilogram of corn as well as the 512 kilogram of soybean atong i-mix og maayo then that resulting mixtures must have a total of 2000 kilogram and the 18 percent crude protein ito yung uh, a question natin kanina so pila di ay ka kilo nga mais o pila ka kilo nga soybean meal lang atong sagulon nga magsagol tag 2000 kilogram nga total nga na ay 18% crude protein. So now, kaning nga mixture karon na sa 18% crude protein which is the needed nutrients for the 100 head 100 heads of our hogs. So, Ingon na na siya. So, klaro ba? Oh, anyway, kung may mga pangunta na, uh, you can uh, drop your comments on the section box, a uh, comment box release and uh, the chat box kung mayroon, no? So, you have to uh, post your comments and of course when we meet uh, in the classroom or anytime you can uh, you can approach me uh, sa bahay or kaya dito sa this office you can ask questions for clarifications about this and uh, maybe we have uh, some other examples in some other session so uh, again so in summary in summary so again we have uh, discussed about the Pearson square and uh, this is a tools for balancing uh, rations and uh, kung sa Pearson square duha lang ka feed ingredients ang gamiton so kung tulo na hindi na pwede siya no? na na add another tools pag compute na idagan pa anya uh, usa ka timanan nga ang feed ingredients nga atong gamiton isa ka ingredients ana na as nutritional uh, composition ng taas sa required ang isa put kay ingredients na nga na as nutritional composition nga baba sa required mean to say ang target nutrients ang required nutrients in between sa nutritional status or nutritional level ng feed uh, ingredients na atong gamiton iyan na siya so, hinaut nga makasabot and uh, diha lang ta taman, no? So, kini nga uh, slide uh, was crit this critical thinking exercise was created by yours truly, Dr. Rodi M. Kamay. So, daghang salamat sa pagpamati hangtod sa sunod na to nga session. Ayaw kalimot sa pag uh, like o ga uh, Kumpili share, you can share to your uh, classmates. So, please share sa uban, no? Daghang salamat, hangtod sa sunod nga higayon.